Hi everyone, my name is Amber Ray. Welcome to Fab Scraps Project Number Twenty Three. Now today we're going to make a gorgeous scrapbooking page in a shadow box frame. We've previously covered the scrapbooking frame, and I will add that link on my blog. So if any of you want to catch up to watch that of how to make it, it will be on there. The scrapbooking page is very special to me because I introduce you to one of my pets. Now, he has passed away, he passed away a long time ago, and I don't have any pets anymore, I don't have any children either. I'm allergic to them. Yes, both. Before you ask, what well, pets or children. So I don't have any pets and I don't have any children. However, I still love the pets that I did have. And, you know, you're going to see one of them today, so it's kind of special for me. We're using the Fab Scraps Spilt Milk Collection for your furry friends and it covers cats, dogs and birds as well, I think. So please check out the link for the availability for the collection. That will be on my blog as well. Now, I just think this scrapbooking page is beautiful, but I would do because I'm using my own puppy. Even though he wasn't a puppy in the photo, he'll always be a puppy. Um, I'm using the photo of my own puppy, so I'm going to think it's beautiful. It could be easily adapted to suit many pets. And all you'd have to do is change over your sentiments to use um, with your cats. Or maybe you've got a bigger dog. It would still work. And I just think it's a great way to treasure their memories. Because, after all, they're not just a man's best friend. They're his lady's best friend as well. And I, I just think it's the bee's knees. I really do. So hopefully you will do too. Now please let me know. You can always comment on Facebook, you can comment on YouTube, you can find me on Twitter and you can find me on Instagram, my personal favourite. At the end of the video my little head's going to pop up here and you're going to be able to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. So please do so because you get the notifications of when new videos will be available. And over Christmas I'll be having a little bit of time off so that way you'll get notified as to when I'm back, which will probably be the 6th of January. So please keep up to date with that. Now without further ado, please sit back, relax and let's have a look at today's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous project. For today's tutorial, we're using the Spilt Milk Collection from Fab Scraps. We're going to be creating a gorgeous scrapbooking page in a shadow box frame. Now I've already previously done a tutorial to show you how to make a shadow box frame. This one, the base of it measures ten and a half inches and the two sides are an inch deep. So the centre panel is eight and a half inches. So we're going to be working on an eight inch scrapbooking page that will sit nicely in the middle of our shadow box. I'm just going to put this to one side just for the moment while we build up our actual page just slightly for the background. Now the first layer that I've got for our scrapbooking page is an 8x8 piece of craft card and all I've done is inked it around the edges with a walnut brown distress ink and then in the centre you can even see I've simply taken an ink pad and just, as I would say, splodged it on. I've then taken a green ink pad and then done the same to give it a little bit of green in colour. And then you can see the gold dots and the bronze dabs. Those are just a spritz that you can get, you know, the sprays that spray on the metallic shine and the paint. That has already got flat tape on the back of it ready to go in our shadow box. I'm just going to add a couple of layers to this and then we'll add it to our box and start adding all our embellishments. Now the first layer for our base layer is a piece of cardstock from the Spilt Milk collection and I've used one of the stencils that you get in the entire collection because you do get so much in there and the little paws. I've used a texture powder mixed with water to give, make into a texture paste. I've coloured it slightly in places and for that I've simply added some ink before I put the powder on 
and then mixed it with water. So I splodged an ink pad, put the powder on, mixed it with water and that picked up a little bit of colour. So you can just see the difference in colour between the kind of ivory colour for the paws and then a little bit of green mixed in. So what I've got is a torn piece of cardstock with the paws on. Now as it's dried, some of it's cracked. I'm not worried about that because it's the mixture in texture that we're looking for. So I've got flat tape on the back of this and I am simply going to add this to our craft cardstock at one side. And then it gives it just a little bit of extra dimension for when we put it in our frame. So I'm just marrying up the two corners and the edges and then placing it over the cardstock like so. Our next layer for the bottom is I've torn some of the cardstock from the spilt milk collection and sized it to fit the base of this piece of card. So it's kind of layering the cardstock. And I've got flat tape on the back of this and this will go corner to corner to build up the second part of our base layer. Next, I've taken a piece of cardstock and I've stamped Best Friend along the cardstock using, these are the Lisa Horton All Occasion stamps. Um, I think they call the ticker tape stamps if I've got the title right. I'll put the details on my blog anyway. And I've just taken two of them and put them together to create the word best friend because a doggy is, you know, is a person's best friend. So, and a pussycat as well. But on this occasion, it's uh, my dog that we're making this scrapbooking page for. So I've got flat tape on the back of this and I'm simply going to add this across the bottom of the page about three quarters of an inch away from the bottom and that gives us the base of our page. Now I'm going to add this inside our shadow frame. Now the shadow frame where I've made it, I've given you the measurements, I've actually used a piece of brown cardstock in the centre and I've used ivory for the outsides. I've got flat tape on the back of my craft card so that I can add this into the centre of our shadow frame. And then we can just drop that in and hopefully, now I'm not looking over it, but I'm hoping it's going to be kind of central and then we can work on building all our layers up from that as a base. So the first thing I have now is lots of embellishments really to add to the base of our page and these are little stamps that I had in a set already and they're just little dog stamps. I've stamped them, I've coloured them and I've added a little bit of the gold uh, spritz and I'm just adding them towards the edges. It's just to give it a little bit more interest because sometimes if we've got blank spaces or the, there's more to look at to focus on. So I've taken one of the sentiments from in the spilt milk collection and it says I'll follow you anywhere. I've cut it out and I've put it on 3D foam and I'm simply going to pop it diagonally in the one corner away from where the good texture paws are. So over the ones that were a little bit cracked, I'm just placing that. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Dusty Dog. And he was my faithful companion 
and he's so gorgeous and I'm going to try and control my emotions it's you know very difficult sometimes because they're part of the family and um, I know he's been gone a long time now but he was such a special dog and he's even got a smile on his face so and I just thought this would be perfect for him and I love him as much now as I did then so anyway so I've got flat tape on the back I've just mounted Dusty Dog's photo onto some cardstock again from the Spilt Milk collection and I'm going to pop him just to one side of the sentiment and I'm quite happy for it not to lay flat over the paws and just have different wavy effects so it's flat at one side and raised at the other next I have taken one of the labels from the Spilt Milk collection and a second photo where I've zoomed in on Dusty's face and just made it a little bit bigger and I've put Dusty on the 3D foam and uh, whew, it's difficult <laughs> it's very easy in your head when you think about your pets that are gone but having to talk out loud it's uh, it's very different so I'm putting Dusty Dog on the on the label tag and on the back of the label tag I've got 3D foam and I'm going to pop this just underneath where the main photo is so it looks like it's hanging down from the bottom of the photo so that's Dusty Dog's smiling face next I've taken one of the chipboard elements the beer board from the Spilt Milk collection and I've heat embossed it with like a pearl heat embossing powder I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to add that just at the side of the photo and the sentiment and then I've got a little heart that I've die cut from the spilt milk papers and I've added a little bit of natural string on there and 3D foam and I'm just going to add that just in the corner just near where it says I'll follow you anywhere next we've got our chipboard prints on my heart and there's a little paw so it's paw prints on my heart so it's our beer board embellishment and I've heat embossed it and I've used two colours of ink on the actual base and then I've used a clear and an opal heat embossing powder I've put this on 3d foam and I think that would work just about there in the center so I can press that down next out of the chipboard beer board embellishment there's a little bone and there's a little heart now I think these will work if I use the bone straight up and add that as an eye instead of a bone and the little heart next to Dusty's face so it's like I heart Dusty so I love you there he is and then I've stamped the word love now this is from my stash and it's just a, a stamp that I've got with the definition underneath it and I've just stamped it on some of the um, spilt milk papers and I'm thinking it will go roughly, I was going to put it there, I've torn the edges so yes I think that will work nicely there if I slot it just under the tag and press it down I've got two rows of foam pads on there so it's a little bit higher and then I've got another embellishment that I've just stamped 
from my stash where the little doggy on the front on the stamp and I think that would work at the side here and just go next to the photo there we go so that's our page put together but now we want to decorate the edge of our shadow box and just make it a little bit more special so what I've done is I've cut four strips of cardstock from the spilt milk collection and using the ticker tape stamps from Lisa Horton again the ones that match where we've put best friend I've stamped the words love I've stamped the word four times and there's a gap between each of the stamps so I'm going to position the cardstock in the middle of each of the frame sides and I have got four of them so I've done it four times so we're just going to add all four we're crossing them over in the corners and then leaving a little gap to the edges and I'm just going to turn it around so I can see I'm going to point the words love into the center and so it frames it and this is the last um, the third one and then the last one turn it around so I can see we can add this straight across the top like that there we go now for where we've added that around the edge I've taken a heart die and I've die cut 12 little hearts I've stamped them with a background stamp that I had in my stash and I've sprayed them with gold um, spray just to give them a little bit of a metallic look you can see that there and then I've taken them through the Xyron machine to get all over adhesive on them and I'm going to add one between the words love all the way around the edge and then that will just make it even more unique as we work our way around and then we can just turn it so I can see it so there's 12 of these I stamp them using permanent black ink and then spritz them with the gold and I've inked them using distress inks and it was a walnut stain and um, brush corduroy so that's the 11th one and then the 12th one there we go and then the last thing we have for our shadow box frame is for four corners I've die cut two hats one from the spilt milk collection, one like the ones we've just positioned between the words and then I've added a little bow with um, in string, natural string and I'm going to add these to all four corners there's flat tape on the back of them and it just I think finishes the corners off perfectly and just brings it all together I think so we'll just put that on straight there we go and then we'll just do the top corners so these little hats they're just a fun embellishment something a little bit different and you can see the two layers with the string on the top and it just 
ties it all together, I think. And then the last one for the last corner. There we go. And press that down. And that is our shadow box finished. And I think that looks gorgeous. And with my very, 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 very handsome and cute and lovable and oh, he was just the most amazing dog. And he did so many tricks. He learnt them himself and he used to sing at music and he was just adorable. <sighs> so I just hope that that's worthy of his photo because that I'm going to keep that and I'm going to keep that pride of place. So I just hope you've enjoyed watching and it's given you an idea of what you can do with your embellishments, whether it's from the Spilt Milk collection or not. Fab Scraps brings out the most amazing collections and there's everything that you possibly need in there. You can always add to it with your stash, you can always add to it from other collections, but I just think this works and it's a great idea for a gift. And if somebody had made me that, I would be in tears. I nearly am now looking at it because I just miss my little dog so much. And um, I'm sure you all know how I feel. So I would just like to say check the blog because I will take lots of photos of it. And, um, you know, there's so many great projects on there. Feel free to share. Feel free to let me know what you think. And um, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.